Tucked away on a secluded island in the northern Great Lakes, this is a haven for disconnection, rejuvenation, and rediscovering life's simple pleasures. Living off the grid has heightened my awareness, not only of my own habits, but also of my natural surroundings. However, acclimating to coexisting with black bears was a learning curve that took a while to get used to. From securing food provisions to diligently managing waste and trash, Every aspect of this lifestyle highlights the importance of respectfully harmonizing with the wildlife that calls these woods home. A simple oversight like leaving an empty cheese it box in the fire pit can have unforeseen consequences, which you'll see in just a moment. I've encountered the bears on multiple occasions over the years now, and each interaction has been a testament to their gentle nature. Occasionally I've been fortunate enough to capture some of these encounters on camera. So this was my very first sighting and it was only within a few days of getting my RV settled onto the property. I spent most of that first week working pretty late into the night just to get some of my projects finished. I heard something just behind me and when I turned around I saw two little cubs hanging out clinging to a tree and just watching me. After a quick moment of being frozen just because of how cute they were, I knew mama had to be close by. So I darted for the door and once I got inside I grabbed the camera. After slowly poking my head out around the corner, I saw this. Mama bear and her cubs exploring all the new changes I've made to the forest. Needless to say, I spent the rest of that night inside. This is probably my favorite clip, and it's also the video I go to to show anybody that tells me that I should climb up a tree in case of an angry bear. They're literally designed to do this, and they do it very well. This was last year's cub from the clip that you just saw, and this guy came around every day right around 3 o'clock in the afternoon. He liked to take advantage of my squirrel feeder, which he eventually just tore to pieces one day when he came and found it empty. Another one of his many afternoon visits, and here you see just how close they are to me and why I need to be so careful when I walk out my front door. On this day he was looking for anything to get into because by this time he had already taken down the squirrel feeder and he can't reach the ones for the birds. You can see him growing frustrated by the lack of food for him to find, and this is when they tend to get into a destructive mode and make attempts to get into my shed and other storage, sometimes even inside of the RV. My generator was running at the time, which must have bugged him, because at one point he looked like he almost figured out how to turn it off. And once he realized that there wasn't anything around for him to eat, he just pretty much bugged out of there as soon as he could. Oh my god, it's a little tiny cub. Oh, that's a big bear. Oh my gosh. There's two tiny little cubs. Oh. Oh, that's what. I got cardboard in the fire pit. Wow, that is a big bear. You guys are so cute.
Because of how surprised I was when I looked out the window, I decided to leave the original audio and what I now call the Cheese It video. Earlier that day I was burning some cardboard and other trash, but in a typical Michigan moment where the weather changes in an instant, it began to downpour. It rained just enough to put the fire out, so I went inside and completely forgot to go back out and finish burning later that day. I was reading a book when I heard some noise outside. The only thing left was an empty Cheez-Its box and some cardboard packaging, but it was enough to bring Big Mama Bear and the kids over to investigate. The closest I've ever been to a bear is only about two feet, and it was this bear right here. I carelessly walked outside to turn off my generator, but without checking outside first. Three steps out, I found myself staring right down the barrel of a black bear snout. Luckily though, she was just as startled as I was because when I ran back to the door, she quickly backed away as well. When I got inside, I grabbed the camera and I got this quick clip. I usually keep a trail cam set up and running somewhere on the property at any given time. You never know what you're going to capture. This time I had the camera set up on the steps of my front door. There's a bird feeder hanging up that the bears can't reach. That's why mama bear keeps looking up, but they still like to clean up the ground of any spilled seeds. This is actually the Cheez-It family again from the earlier video, but almost a full year has gone by and it looks like the kids are growing up nicely. Each day I find myself immersed in moments that most people don't get to experience, and I will forever be grateful for that. Surrounded by bears, deer, and countless other creatures, I am filled with a profound gratitude that they've come to trust me as one of their own. Living here has put many aspects of my life into perspective, and I feel that the balance and happiness I've been looking for can easily be reached here. Rediscovering the joy in life's simple pleasures has been a transformative experience, and I owe it all to the off-grid lifestyle and the remarkable animals that share this space with me.